hey y'all welcome back to another video we're gonna be doing tapins today i'm super excited never tried tapins before this is everything i use except for that box i didn't end up using that cream of nature's box i only ended up just using the bleach um this is the tapins this is what they look like i did get a curly texture this time I only ended up using four scoops for each bundle, either four or five scoops for each bundle, but basically like four or five scoops. And then the consistency that I need is basically like a yogurt consistency. So that's how I just measure it off of that. That's probably not the right way to do it, but that's how I do it. Um, and then I wanna went ahead and like, you know, mixed it up, make sure I got the consistency I wanted. And then I started bleaching. Now, when I added this bleach onto the hair, I will say instantly the color started to change instantly. So I probably only left the bleach on for like a good like 10 minutes, if anything. And the color was already lifting to where I needed it to be. I was going to use that cream of nature's box, but I didn't end up using it just because the color was already kind of basically the same as the color I already had in my hair. So I didn't end up using the um, Cream of Nature's box, the Honey Blonde. I just ended up using bleach and that was it. I went ahead and used a toner to wash out the um, bleach afterwards and the, the hair was ready. So I just want to make sure all my girlies are aware, please do not get the top of the tapins wet. The part where the adhesive is does not need to get wet before you install them because it will disrupt the adhesive on the tapins. But look at this color. Perfect. Gorgeous. Love it. But yeah, I just want to make sure you girlies know that if you are installing these yourself or if you're installing it on somebody else, just make sure you don't get the top of the tapins drenched or wet. This is just me showing you how to take off the, you know, sticky part for the tapins. And what you're going to need to do is take two, put your hair in between that, and you're going to want to sandwich that together. Now you're going to see how I just completely sandwiched that together incorrectly. But you see how sticky this is? Yeah. These tapins are going to last. So you're basically going to want to tape the two pieces together perfectly together with your hair in between make sure you don't use a thick piece of your hair to put in between this it's going to be sandwiched together just like this and i'm going to show you guys how strong this is the adhesive is really strong so we pull 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 and it's not coming apart baby no so this is my hair freshly washed i do not have any curls whatsoever um but that's okay because we're gonna be doing like a braid out type thing. Yo, you guys will see. I definitely washed my hair, blow dried it because I obviously can't do the curly hair on wet hair, like for the, you know, taping it in. So I went ahead and blow dried it and I blow dried my tapins. So I blow dried the tapins. I didn't blow dry it like 100%, but I blow dried it enough so that you could still, you know, see the curl in it as far as my curl pattern as y'all can see i have a little bit of heat damage so my hair my hair does not curl as well as the tape in braid out i'm either gonna do a braid out or a perm -ron set or both we'll see and we're basically just gonna be doing like a natural hairstyle with tape ins
So this is me getting ready to install my first piece of a tape in on my hair. Make sure you guys don't use a thick, thick piece like this. My hair is already thick, so it's pretty hard to like put a tape in on my hair that's thick and then my hair is thick. It, it was a lot. So you guys are just going to have to learn from me what to do and what not to do. Do not use a thick piece of hair like this. You want to make sure that you can still see the adhesive on the other side so that the two tape ins can touch in between your hair and the other tape in. You want to sandwich it together so that the adhesive is sticking together on both sides of the tape in. So if your hair is too thick, baby, it's not going to stick together. So if you need to add some adhesive to one of the tape ins, I'm going to show you guys exactly what you do. You're going to basically want to take off this blue piece, just like a bandage really. And you're going to want to put the tape in on that piece. And then you're going to want to take the other side of the blue and take that off, kind of like a bandage. And then you're going to stick the other side of the tape into that. And then when you put it all together, you'll be able to stick the adhesive to the tape in and peel it right off so that it sticks to the tape in and that you have a better adhesive going. See how that just stuck onto it? So now we have a better chance of it sticking. Yay. This is my braid out. Obviously it is a lot of hair because my hair is already thick. So anyone who has a low, you know, density, I do recommend you add in tape ins just to give your hair some density. This could really help out the girls. But look how beautiful the color, the braid out, the density is giving scissor, scissor vibes for sure. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.